we spent the day at the camp here, and it is, it's heartbreaking. You know, you hear stories of families uh, who were in their house and, and when it was shelled. I spoke to a number of women who have been here for a year and a half. It's very difficult for them to stay in touch with their families who are still back in Syria. It is story after story of of tragic loss, of sometimes brutality that they suffered. Um, and it's always the women and the children who suffer the most. We have um, prioritized getting critical winter assistance in. It's cold right now, and we know that when you're displaced uh, and you've had to leave your home suddenly, that you need essential blankets, carpets, warm clothing, plastic sheeting, ways to help families survive the winter we will have reached 460,000 people, particularly in the northern parts of Syria, with that kind of help um, by the end of this month. We know that's not enough. This is a crisis of enormous proportions. We are moving aggressively to provide additional assistance. We call on other countries to do the same. This visit is, is a really important opportunity to underscore that the United States government and the people of America have been and will continue to be in support of the Syrian people.